This is Ari Cohen was speaking, and today I am going to demo uh, this Oko Diablo, Diablo pedal. So right now, uh, this sounds like this. Clean tone. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is actually uh, not on here, but uh, there is a two internal pot for bass and um, presence. So I'm adjusting the bass. Increase it to the maximum. Decreasing it now. can hear the fatness of the bass. Now this bass is the post um, post gain bass um, and uh, I, I think it's fine to just actually turn it up really loud because um, well it depends on the guitar of course but there is a way to adjust the bass without touching this uh, by, by adjusting the feed there. Now here's the presence control. That's at the minimum. That's maximum. So the difference is pretty subtle there. Um, you can kind of hear the air above the sort of the hair of the pedal. That's legit maximum. Now this, I'm gonna turn it down to minimum. So as you can tell, you know there's there's that that uh, uh, really upper sort of sheen to the pedal that uh, gets adjusted with this presence. Uh, this being a strat, I kind of have it on the warmer side, somewhere in the middle. Alright, so the next control I'm going to demonstrate is, uh, let's see, the, the gain knob really is interactive with everything else that's going on. So the, I think the first thing is to, you want to understand is the feed, which is the input control, uh, and the pre-gain bass. So as you can see, the, uh, the, gain, the amount of bass present in the signal going into uh, any gain stage is you know the biggest factor in determining how loud that uh, volume is and uh, how much uh, input signal there is so how much that's how much um, it distorts so when you turn down the feed all the way down uh, you know there's still some signal but it gets very thin because a if the input is very low and then B it, it has no bass. Now if I turn it up fat um, so that's one powerful control to figure out like how much you know how much uh, input you want to get into the, the pedal and and how fat you want it to sound okay the next control is the tone control um, we can make it dark 
So it controls the range lower than the presence no, uh, uh, control in, in the internal trim part. <laughs> So it gets really wa warm uh, there, uh, or it could really brighten it up. <laughs> So that is the tone control. So, be, so you know, you can consider it almost like you know, this is the bass and this is the treble kind of thing. Um, anyway, the next knob is this body knob, which is uh, sort of the uh, compression and uh, saturation kind of control. That's this one is kind of subtle. You won't hear it as you uh, turn the uh, knob. Maybe you do a little bit. So as you can hear, uh, with this uh, turned down, the, the you know the the notes lose uh, its sort of a uh, uh, girth, and uh, it's it's a lot more dynamic this way. This way is more compressed. Although you can't really hear the difference that much. It's more about the feel, how it feels. Now. With that being said, so we're gonna check out the gain range. But then, uh, as you can tell, I mean, the gain depends on like everything. You know, I can turn everything up. from something like that and I go okay so that's too much space so I turn down the, the <laughs> uh, I say you know that's that's too bright so I turn down the volume uh, the, the not tone <laughs> still pretty thick so then I turn down the the thing the game down <laughs> If you want to, uh, there's one more control here, which is the voltage knob uh, or switch in the top. Now, right now the pedal is operating in 9 volt. 
Now, when I flip the switch, you're going to hear the, the sound getting louder and sort of bigger sounding with less saturation. <laughs> There's a lot more definition to the notes there. It's just that the, the, the notes have a lot more sort of a both bottom end and top ends, and um, the gain decreases. It's just more dynamic uh, in the 18 volt. Uh, so if you're a kind of player who really want to explore sort of a varying amount of uh, overdrive by pick attack, you know, you want to put it on uh, 18 volt and put the gain somewhere in there so that. Um, you know, you can make a difference. I turned down the volume. That's kind of a really sort of big uh, uh, rhythm guitar type sound because um, it's, it's you know a lot more uh, defined notes and dynamic range and stuff like that. So now you know as you can see I mean you know you can concoct a lot of different tones like I could get the, the tone to be bright, the you know the bottom end to be thin and you know have a... a bottom end that's uh, you know somewhat tight Switch pickup. bright and a lot of kerrang kind of like a, a, a high watt kind of sound almost um, too I could have it lots of saturation and warmth <laughs>
Now, uh, there's one more uh, knob and switch, and that is the more or the plus sign there. Um, this is not a boost. This is not a second gain stage. It's basically just a second gain sort of a setting. So, um, Oko, you know, Diablo has a maximum gain that is that's available, and then when you set this to be high, basically you can say by pressing this uh, foot switch, you can say, okay. You know, I have this gain set right here originally, and then I want the second setting to take effect there. So if you uh, turn up the this gain knob all the way up, then you know, pressing touching this, you know, really doesn't do anything. I mean, the manual says that it, it sounds a little fatter, but I don't hear it. Uh, so anyway, so here it is. So. So that's um, Oko Diablo here. Uh, it's it's you, you can get uh, uh, a lot of adjustments from you know bouncy, dynamic, um, bright or warm, um, overdrive to you know more compressed, fat kind of thing. But you know fundamentally, you know y there is a character to this pedal. Um, uh, as you can see, it, the pedal has a beautiful sag. It's just really. Um, you can tell because if you try to pick fast then uh, you know the sag gets in the way and you know you can't do like a hard rock kind of thing <laughs> even with the gain turned up There's a lot of saturation there, a lot of fatness, but it you know it doesn't have a, a really sort of precise pick attack. Um, and then um, I would say you know while you can set it to 18 volts and get it to be bright, um, <laughs> this pedal I, I think its strength is in its warmth and not as much brightness. <laughs> Overdrive characteristic is, you know, more vintage and classic. Uh, it's not uh, very modern sounding, so I think it's great for like a classic rock or roots rock uh, kind of thing. And then, you know, if the the, the sag and uh, the uh, saturation characteristics, you know, is in the ballpark that you're looking for, then you can really use the myriads of control to just really get not just one good sound, but like you know, a variety of good sounds. Um, so I think. Um, it's a great, you know, low to mid game pedal for roots to classic, you know, rock to blues type um, situations. Uh, not great for like hard rock or fusion or anything where you play really fast um, because of the, you know, it, it has a nice bloom. It has a nice uh, sag to the tone, 
but uh, you know it's not a sort of a definition or precision kind of pedal. So there it is, Oco Diablo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.